Hello everyone. How's everyone doing out there? My name is TJ Flores. If you're watching this video, I got some good news. I don't know how you found this video, but congratulations. I'm about to show you how you can actually start drop shipping on eBay using Amazon as a supplier uh, for newbies, right? For beginners. So I'm going to show you step by step what I do to generate some good sales per month using eBay. All right, private in my own home um, with this program, there's no need for recruiting. Uh, so if you're doing any online business out there and you have to recruit people in order to make money, you don't have to worry about that, which is still a good thing, though. I mean, if you're, if you're out there promoting different businesses, uh, it's good to actually build a residual income. But what I love about this is that you can actually sell physical merchandises all right uh, so you're actually selling a physical product to a customer who wants to buy it and amazon ebay uh, you're talking about millions and millions of dollars in transactions you know within days weeks so uh, there's a big opportunity to make some good money here uh, using this method all right so i'm going to show you step by step how i do this uh, so if, uh, if you're watching this on youtube Hit the subscribe button hit the like button uh, if you're watching this on my website and after you watch this video uh, if you like what you see and you're thinking of getting started uh, this is what I do I like to make videos like these to help my team members out uh, to help you improve all right now one thing I have to say is not every product sells right away okay uh, so plus there's gonna be competition but I'm going to show you how you can actually stand out from the competition a little bit and, and make you rank for other keywords, all right? That can actually give you some sales. So with that said, uh, if you're watching this on my website, I have probably have a button underneath. Don't worry about it yet. Watch this video, and then you can decide whether if you want to join or not, all right? Uh, but the tools that I'm using are part of DS Domination. I am in DS Domination. This is where I learned how to do this and thanks to DS domination uh, like I said I make good sales per month doing this method um, the private of my own home I'm actually here in my basement just uh, making this video but uh, uh, I love doing this uh, it's helped me so with that said guys I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna go right into this short training okay all right so hopefully you're uh, watching uh, you see in my screen here I have a Amazon tab open I'm not logged in okay we're actually just gonna do some product research I also have an eBay account actually this is a an account that I created this is not my original account that I used to sell this is just something I created as you can see zero zero but I am gonna have this listing that I'm gonna put up for you guys in this training and hopefully it sells pretty quick so that way you guys can see that it works so if you go out there and do research for this particular wood point 22 uh, you see if I'm selling on this account or not like I said it's a brand new account so with zero feedback so it's gonna take a little bit but it's still possible all right um, I also have my Diaz domination 2.0 so you can see TJ Flores <clears throat> this is where I'm gonna get the tools they also have training but I'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Uh, one more uh, tab here I have is facebook.com forward slash TJ Energia. Send me a friend request, send me a message. If you join, just I like to add you to all of our groups, all of our making money groups uh, for more support, okay? So let me log out. Once again, uh, facebook.com forward slash TJ Energia. Send me a friend request, like I said. I'm logging out so there's no distractions all right in this video okay cool now let's uh let's begin this training all right so we're gonna go to Amazon I'm gonna kick uh, click on the actual Amazon logo so you can send me to the home page with no categories or anything like that okay so I'm just gonna look around here in Amazon so you can see this, this and this is what I recommend uh, they have these cameras here for a reason. I mean, right now it's July the 1st, so it's uh, pretty nice weather outside, people taking pictures of the, you know, 
uh, activities, going to pool, uh, going to the beaches, pools, stuff like that. Okay, so another uh, whatever you see here on the front page is pretty much what's selling. Okay, uh, what they're pushing in order to sell. But as you can see right here, these are some summer items. As you can see, this is what they're pushing. So uh, let's see if anybody's actually making any money um, selling these items. And by the way, uh, if I was to, let me see here. Let's just look for an item, maybe this one here. Okay, as you can see, this price of $59.99 is selling right now for $49.99. 41 okay with the <clears throat> free two-day shipping if you have the Amazon Prime if you don't then I recommend you get it if you don't that's fine I mean you have to do a fake checkout okay in order to see what your total price will be another thing I, I want you guys to take a look is this, is this quantity as you can see there's only five available um, I wouldn't recommend you to list this item okay because if you list this item and it starts selling and you run out, you have to try to find this item somewhere else, either uh, Walmart, Kmart, Overstock, wherever, and, and it's going to be, a uh, the price might be different for once, um, so you might have to pay regular price or even higher. Different stores have different markups for merchandise, okay? So I recommend you try to list something that has at least I'm gonna say 50 in stock so let's uh, let's look excuse me let's look here for another item let's check out this slide here how many as you can see they at least have 30 which is good uh, we can also do a fake checkout by clicking here and let's see if there's any more I hit the plus 10, so let's say 100. Let's see if there's 100 in here. And there is. As you can see, they have 100 in quantity, which is good. Now, let's do a, <clears throat> excuse me, let's do uh, some research on this item. Let's see if anybody is making money selling this item just using this title, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy this title. I'm going to go back to eBay, click on the logo, that way it refreshes the page. I'm in the home page. I'm going to hit paste. I'm going to hit search. As you can see, it's trending at 40, uh, 4317. Okay, so that means uh, people have been selling it for that much. Let's see here. Uh, we're actually, what I did there, let me show you, let me go back. So I paste the title in here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna scroll down and hit sold listings right here. And these are the items that sold within, you know, it could be the month, it could be um, the week or, or, you know, whatever eBay has here for, you know, displaying for you, okay? So, it's, so it has 16 listings, okay? So let's see. We're going to say from highest first, so $39. So this item sold for at least 41 as you can see here, which uh, I'm going to explain to you guys uh, the difference. Okay, uh, this is the uh, best way is... This is a different brand, okay? It's a different brand. Best way, let me see. Best way. Look at this, guys. $63.99. Wow. $74.99, okay? And I'm going to explain why these people sold it for this much roughly, okay? Now, when we came here to eBay, we copied the same title that was used in Amazon. So you can see right here, Amazon. So it says, best way H2O, 
It says go trip, uh, triple water slide. All right. This person here, as you can see, they sold it for 33. This person here is using uh, some of part of the title, 39.99. Okay. Now I'm going to give you explain to you the reason why this these people are selling it for much much more As you can see for 74 let's see if we can even look at this 89 75 that's the other one All right, let me see 73 okay so we go back look at this guys the reason why is very simple. As you can see, three person water slide, triple slider, kids, outdoor, toy, sprinkler, uh, racer, backyard. What this person did is they used nothing but good keywords in here. Okay, so when somebody came to eBay, so if we go back to eBay.com, and somebody was going to look for a particular item, in this case, um, it was, let's say, um, a water slide, okay? For example, water slide. Oh, I misspelled it one second. As you can see on that. <laughs> All right. When somebody came here and looked for water slide, just like that, some other listings came up for some reason. Oh, categories let me see okay here we go as you can see there's different <clears throat> items that come up with with this keyword as far as water slide as you can see there's a couple here but when people are searching uh, as you can see if they come across your item no matter what it is a lot of your competitors will not be around okay because uh, that's where these people here um, are missing out on, on a lot of potential money by using this same title they're not making a lot from the, they're not actually making a, a lot of money on their sales actually this is a very popular uh, VM innovations as you can see here this is another person $32 when it sells on Amazon for 32 so there ain't no money being made here okay and the person down here that is selling it even at $63 as you can see keywords splash lagoon h2o uh, pool inflatable so they're using other keywords uh, that a potential customers looking for okay so when they use different keywords they pop up for different results okay for those keywords that people are searching so because in reality uh, I mean I didn't even know until I made this video that they have a best way h2o go triple <laughs> you know what I mean uh, now a water slide I know they sell water slides right so that's that's pretty much it's, it's, it's common sense uh, this person here uh, apparently, uh, even though they they put 10.95 for shipping, which is that's good, or, or right? But you can probably get more. This person would have gotten more bids, and uh, maybe sold it for a little more. Okay, but this person, I believe, they're in a the profit. Okay, I'm going I'm going to show you guys. Uh, so if I pull out this calculator, newlifeauctions.com. If I go to fixed price, okay, even though it was an auction, um, it sold for $33.90. One second. Okay, so it was a fixed price. It sold for 33.90, right? 33.90. Let me go back. And uh, 1095 for shipping. 10.95 for shipping okay and the item costs 32.99 32.99 so that person made five dollars and 78 cents as you can see net profit they ended up paying uh 448 on uh, ebay fees 
PayPal fees, which is all deducted through PayPal. So, uh, so that person made five dollars and seventy-eight cents, which is not bad. But if you use different keywords, and I'm going to show you guys a tool that we use uh, to get different keywords. This one, uh, excuse me. This person sold it here for sixty three ninety nine. So even if if I take away, <clears throat> all right. So and the person sold it once again for sixty three ninety nine. So if I go back here to sixty three point ninety nine, look at the big difference: twenty two dollars and forty four cent profit instead of uh, five six dollars. So he pretty much uh, quadruple his profit. On one item okay uh, once again look at this one here 7479 so this person even made even another ten dollars more 7499 32 dollar profit on one item so can you imagine if you sell a couple of them a week that's 60 70 90 dollars in your pocket uh, literally that easy that simple okay when somebody comes and buys this from you um, you're gonna get an email in your eBay account <clears throat> that's going to uh, from eBay and it's gonna say hey somebody buy your item ship it okay so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna list this item now that that I see the big profit potential here uh, we'll see if it sells or not it sold back in May but uh, now it's in July so but all we need, all we can, all we need to do is just uh, click where it sells, uh, says. Let me, actually, let me open it in a new tab. Okay. And uh, let's uh, sell one like this. So I'm going to click right here. All right. Let me close these windows. Not that one. All right. So you, as you can see, I can use the same title this person used. But I, I want to change it up a little bit, okay? Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it with water slide. Copy. Because when somebody types in water slide on eBay, when they come here to eBay and they're looking for a water slide, I want the keyword, especially the one I want to rank for, to be the first keywords in the actual title, okay? That's going to help you rank, okay? So water slide. Um, let me see. Kids. I'm just going I'm, I'm I'm going to use the same title but I'm going to change it up all right water slide kids outdoor toys three person okay cool so it's the same title all I did is just move it around um, because I'm going to use these keywords here and this is what I want to rank for okay uh, pretty much common sense like I said what buyers might be thinking of buying all right so what I'm going to do, I'm using Google Chrome. I'm going to just minimize it like this, okay? I'm gonna, let me see here. And this is what I do to list my items, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go back to Amazon. But before I do that, let me, uh, I'm going to, I have this text document here where it says shipping policy, no local pickups. I only ship to the lower 48 states, which a lot of the stuff's in the training. Uh, from Diaz Domination. I also have something for back order or out of stock just to let people know. But what I'm going to do, uh, uh, I'm going to copy this title that I took from right here. Okay, I, I copied Water Slide Kids Outdoor. Okay, and uh, these spaces in this title, I'm going to actually delete it and put, uh, I believe it's just a dash or a hyphen. Okay, just like that. I don't want no spaces in my title, okay? I'm going to copy. And let me just close this for now. I don't want to save it. But I, I did copy that and it's in my computer. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here to uh, Amazon, Amazon.com. I'm going to click on the actual picture. Once again, just click on the picture. And using Google Chrome, I'm just going to grab it by left clicking let go and it's going to be in my desktop okay just like this all right i'm going to put them way over here that way i don't get confused now i can list up to 12 pictures 
just grab a slide grab a slide I can also pick a different see this one right here I can I want that one to be I want this one to be my first picture so that should be pretty good uh, maybe I'll put one more so it's one two three four five six seven pictures that should be good okay uh, now that I have my pictures I'm gonna go to DS domination okay I'm gonna open this up a little more and here in DS domination I'm gonna to go to tools I'm gonna to click on legacy tools it's telling me I gotta log in let me log in real quick Just log me out <laughs> okay, uh, tools legacy tools as you can see this is the automation uh, this is the the new back office for DS domination 2.0 uh, they have a, a title builder here also and every they have videos explaining everything I love this program a lot of good information so uh, if you want to build even a better title let's see what gives us here doing it a little different as you can see I can also use water slide kids outdoor baseball summer pool uh, some potential keywords inflatable uh, sprinkle you know that I can use here in my title that I'm selling on eBay so where's your backyard I can take the, maybe this three person maybe um, maybe I'm gonna take this out because it says triple triple slider anyways and uh, maybe add uh, a couple other keywords here maybe summer uh, let me come back over here. I'm just going to paste this in here, okay, because I don't want to lose it. But I want to add summer in there. Maybe uh, maybe somebody's looking. Well, or let me see what other ones. Backyard. I think backyard was already in here. Backyard, yes. Water, slide, kids, pool. Splash. I like that one. So maybe they might be looking for a water. I don't have it here okay I'm just gonna put it in here this keyword just capitalize it I, I still have five characters maybe I can do one more part slip inflatable is it inflatable water slide kids outdoor maybe take the sprinkler out of here and put inflatable I'm just gonna change it a little bit maybe somebody's looking for an inflatable <laughs> slide so I'm going to take these keywords put it in my title just to make it a little more uh, outdoor inflatable let me see it don't have to make sense that should be good I'm just gonna put no here at the end, which is maybe somebody types no or something and, and my listing comes up, they might wanna buy it. <laughs> okay, now that I have the keywords, I'm actually gonna go back. I'm gonna go to tools again. I'm gonna go to legacy tools and I'm going to click on the image scrambler, okay? Right here, like I said, there's a video explaining everything. But before I do anything, guys, I want to explain something to you guys. You see, when I took the picture from uh, Amazon, it has all these weird letters and numbers. Uh, and I want to get rid of that, okay? Because I want, see, the search engines and robots, they don't know what these numbers are unless if they're in the actual website, okay, which is Amazon's website. Uh, but I want to delete all this, okay? Uh, and the way to do that is by using this image cropper tool and I'm going to uh, let me see here that's what I was afraid of actually don't say if it was down here sorry about that so I'm gonna copy this couple words don't say for now and I'm going to uh, right click rename paste Okay, so I gave it a new name. Okay, now I want to upload it over here. 
which is still going to be deleted. I just want to show you how I gave it a new name. And it starts with the W, so it's water slide. Hit open. I'm going to hit submit. Okay, here it is. Here's the picture. I'm just going to click. And I'm going to say crop right here, right underneath. So here's my new picture. Now, if I drag this picture out here, you can see it's got a different name and a different number. Okay, so what does that tell you? As you can see, it's a little different. It's got a white border, which kind of like minimized it a little bit. But it took everything that was from Amazon, even from my computer, I renamed it. It took everything right out of there. All right, so now I can delete this. Okay, now I want to rename this picture. Okay, because it, it don't have anything from Amazon anymore. So I'm going to just rename it, and I'm going to go paste. Water slide, kids outdoor. All right. Now I'm going to open. Actually, I'll just upload this picture. I'm back here on eBay. I'm going to add the photo. And it's water slide, kids outdoor. So that's going to be my main picture right there. Now that it's done, I can delete it. Okay. And this is what takes a little time. Uh, doing all this on the pictures um, it starts with a seven so i'll just come back here choose a file next uh, starts with a seven there's a picture okay submit let me do this again seven submit oh, okay submit it's a different file format, okay? We can fix that. We can say uh, open with paint. Um, save as. I'm gonna give it the title. Paste, desktop, save, all right? So what I did, um, actually I'm gonna, cause it's over here somewhere, it's over here. Huh? So I'm going to bring it back. Um, here it is. Now I can uh, choose a file, water slide right there. Let me see, submit. There it is. So I don't need this picture anymore. Delete it. All right. Now let's, uh, actually I just want to copy just this image. Just like that, I'm gonna say uh, crop, grab it, bring it out here. As you can see, 34. I'm gonna delete that picture, rename this one to paste to my. I'm gonna come back to eBay, add it in here. Water slide. Okay. I can also. I'm gonna delete this. I don't need it no more. Okay. As you can see, it'll take a while to list all these pictures. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete all these, and I'm just going to put one more. Delete. I'll just put this picture up in here. Okay. So I'll go back to my DS domination. Choose a file. This one starts with the five. Okay. Submit. All right. Just uh, select the spot that I want to be cropped. Submit. Oh, one second. Do it again. Five. And all I'm doing, I'm just typing the first number or letter that the picture saved. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do. Crop. I didn't hit crop last time. So I'm just going to grab it, put it out here. Okay, I'm going to delete this. I don't need it no more. Rename this one. And this all just right click, left click, paste. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to eBay. Add a photo. Water slide kits outdoor. I'm going to delete it because I'm done with it. Okay. So now I have my title. My condition is new. Make sure you check that because sometimes 
somebody could be selling a used one, so just something to look out for. Uh, the photos, I mean, of course, you can. Add, I can add nine more. You can add up to 12 photos. Um, so the brand, okay, um, now here, I enter my own. Now the brand is the best way, right? Best way. So just go copy. All right. Paste. All right. So the brand is in. Okay. All right. For details, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, for details, I'm going to open up this notepad that I showed you guys earlier. I'm just going to make this a little smaller so you can see what I'm doing. And I know it might be confusing for you guys to have them side by side like that, especially if you don't have a a big screen monitor, right? But So I'm going to come back to Amazon, okay? And I'm just going to copy this title. Paste it, hit enter, but I'm going to come back to the top. I'm going to hit enter because I want to use this title here on my eBay, what I'm selling. Just click up a couple times, highlight the whole thing, copy, come back over here, paste it. Okay. So this is going to be my whole new title. All right. So I know that's got triple a couple of times, but... That kind of helps with the SEO type of thing. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Amazon, and I'm going to just uh, read it real quick, just roughly. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing as far as warranties and stuff like that that I need to be aware of. So I'm going to hit enter a couple times, paste. So I got my title. I'm gonna, These are my bullet points. And as you can see, by doing this method, I'm actually – getting rid of all the Amazon encoding on this website by coming here. As you can see, there's no bullet points here. It's just capital letters. So every time there's a capital letter, there might be a, a bullet point, okay? So by doing this method, uh, eBay does not recognize that it's coming from Amazon, okay? So it kind of thinks that I typed it. So that's what I do to help me rank from other people, okay? so. I'm going to actually, I'm just going to come to a, a, a where it has a, a period, and I'm just going to copy the product description, and I'm going to put it right here. Enter a couple times. Enter again. So I have my title, my bullet points, my description, my shipping policy, okay? And right underneath the shipping policy, I'm going to put, this ASIN number, okay? I'm just going to copy this ASIN number, okay? I'm going to put it right under the product description just for me to remember it, okay? And what I'm going to do, if you have some initials or something that you can remember this, I'm just going to put TJ Flores, my initials. That way I know that after my initials, this is the item that I need to look for on Amazon, okay? So one way to find it, for example, if I come back to Amazon... Okay, I'm in the Amazon homepage. Uh, I just copy everything after my initials, and I paste it in here. After somebody buys it for me, then I know where to find it, okay? By just copying that on Amazon, I just add it to my cart, add the customer's information, where to ship it to, and once I get the tracking number through Amazon a couple of days later, usually, you know, 24 hours or, or 32 hours, depends. I just put my tracking information on eBay, and that's it, guys. It's that, that easy, that simple. Um, actually, I'm going to put this copy, delete it here. Okay, I'm going to put it right underneath this shipping, just like so. All right, and just like that, guys, I'm ready to uh, come back to eBay. Right here where it says details. I'm just going to highlight this whole thing, copy. Now that it's copied, I don't need it, so I don't want to save it and see. I can start a brand new listing with it, okay? So I'm going to come here, just paste it in here, just, and then I'm going to make my screen wider, as you can see. 
Now, this is what I like to do. So that way, see, it don't look like it's all just letters. I want to make it stand out, all right? So I want to make this bigger. And you can play around. I'm going to bold it, OK? The, uh, this is my bullet points that were on Amazon. And actually, I'm going to use this right here. As you can see, it made it a little bit bigger and kind of like cleaned it up a little bit. So there's the bullet points ready to go for the product description once again come up here make this a little bigger just to so it can stand out okay uh, this here I'm going to make it a little bigger by just changing the style of the text now remember uh, water slide kits inflatable okay I'm going to look for a couple keywords in the description okay water slide I'm going to highlight water slide. I'm going to just hit the uh, italicization or whatever it's called. To This is this was going to help you with the SEO, OK? I can also underline it. That way, when the robots come and comb the listing water slide, they know it's a water slide. All right, I'm actually uh, inflatable. This right here, I can bold it, all right? And what I want to do is I want one of each. I want to bold, italicize, and I want to underline my keywords. So the splash was another one. Uh, maybe let me see what other one. Pool, uh, water pool maybe. Okay, I will uh, italicize that. I'll do one more. Usually, just just all you need is three. But uh, let me see. Long water, gasket on. I'm just going to hit this splash. And I'm just going to, because uh, I have a under, let me do another underline. Okay, just like that. I got a couple of things here different than everybody else that usually just copies and pastes. And this actually helps with the SEO because it's talking about a certain thing. So it's, uh, italicized or it's bold or it's underlined so that when the robots come in like I said they see all this and they help you boost uh, maybe not so much on eBay but on Google okay so if somebody types in water slide uh, your listing might come up more than others okay so now I'm gonna go to the shipping I'm gonna make it a little bigger okay that's uh, too big. Okay, just like that. I'm going to make this a little different by using this text. And I'm actually going to minimize that to about a 14. So as you can see, it's a lot smaller, so people don't, don't see it. They really are not going to know what it is anyways. I mean, some people will. You, you know already. <laughs> You're watching this video. Uh, let me see. That's not bad there. All right. So my listing is pretty much up. OK. I'm going to uh, say this is a fixed price. All right. And it's going to maybe charge me. We'll see. Oh, it's free. Awesome. It says recommended 75. Let's do that. 75 actually is sold over here for 60, 74. That's not bad. We can sell it for try to sell it for 75 and if it sells then uh, we can let me open <clears throat> my calculator again to pretty much calculate if i was uh, so let's say it sells for i'm going to say 35 dollars with taxes all right so let's say it's going to cost me 35 dollars so it's going to cost 35 dollars okay and i'm selling it for 75 with free shipping I will make $30 if this item sells, okay? So I love it. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, actually 75. Yeah, 75, so I'll make 30 bucks. Awesome. So uh, quantity, I'm gonna say I have two. All right, you don't wanna, if it sells, you wanna keep your listing up, all right? So I want the listing to last for 30 days. Now, I'm going to offer free shipping, so I'm going to select shipping myself. It's going to be free, so just offer free shipping. 
But I want to change this right here to maybe that right there, two to eight business days, just to be a little bit on the safe side. Uh, no international shipping, all right? So it's going to pay me at this email address. Okay. Uh, three business day handling time, returns accepted. Okay. And just list the item. Let's see if we are good to go. Good. Good job. Your item is now listed for sale. So here's the title. Water slide kits outdoor to available $75. There it is. There's the listing. Bolded, like I said, uh, the italicized, underline, bold. So, okay. Once again, once this sells, all I need to do is just highlight this right here. Copy, come back to Amazon, homepage. Every time you click on those logos, you go to the homepage. Hit search, $32.99. So I click on this, add it to my cart, ship it to my customer, all right? So that's everything that you need to do, guys. Uh, Diaz Domination, uh, I learned a lot of this stuff in Diaz Domination. A lot of that is here in the pro training. I love the tools here. It's amazing. If, if you want to get started with Diaz Domination, like I said, send me a friend request on my Facebook. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description. If you're watching this on my website, if you're watching this video on my website, maybe you're in my email list. Uh, literally, it's that easy, guys. Okay, That's how I've been getting sales on my ebay account okay uh, this is another one i created just for this tutorial as you can see zero zero i'm gonna leave this up see what it does for the next few days and uh, hopefully i make 30 dollar bill <laughs> over the weekend uh and maybe it sells twice i'll make 60 dollars. all right over the weekend and all i need to do is just once this sells um, for example i can show you guys here real quick also let's say this item sells and then it's going to say one sold the quantity uh, is, instead of two available, it's going to say last one or one available. I'm just going to come here, hit revise your item once it sells. Uh, once I do that, it's going to bring me to the same, as you can see here. Uh, and just add more for quantity. Okay, I can add three, four, five. You want to keep it at least at two or three. That way, um, you know, people think, oh, well, there's only two left. Let me buy one. Or usually one is kind of like a... You know, well, I want to buy is the last one, you know, type of thing. But two is good. Uh, I recommend two. Uh, you can play around with that, you know, however you want. But don't forget about what I told you uh, here in the description, water slide, uh, whatever keywords you want to rank for. Uh, do some little SEO tactics with that, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to hit revise. Revise it. And just like that, guys, it's uh, up and selling again. Uh, there it is there it is so that's all we do that's all I do to make this extra income from home it's easy it's simple um, it did take a little bit I was explaining through it but once you get the hang of it you go a little faster uh, what takes a little time is the pictures but it's all good uh, you want to get the actual let me see if, if, if I click on this picture, bring it out here. You can see it's got a different. Cool. Sounds good. Um, let me see. Let me come back. Let me stop screen share. That's all I do, guys. It's that literally that easy, that simple. If you're watching this on my website, if you came in through uh, my emails, thank you for being a subscriber. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. It's like I said, uh, awesome tools. Uh, it is Diaz Domination is a membership website because it's got these tools you can use to uh, do the picture cropper, uh, the title builder, and there's a lot more. Diaz 2.0, it's got a new automation, uh, so uh, a lot more easier, a lot better. More training to come in the future, guys. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, 
any concerns or anything like that. Uh, like I said, visit me on Facebook, send me a friend request, let me know what's going on. Uh, and listen, join my team. Join my team and you can see how you can start making money from home, selling what people want to buy. And that was just one item out of millions that you can sell, okay? So with that said, guys, take care. TJ Flores, see you on the next video and hopefully you love this training. If you're on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're on my website, I'll see you on the inside, all right? Take care. Bye.